Yeah, back in the building. I love it. I love it. I love to hear the claps. Gets me excited every time. Back for another episode of the hottest podcast on the planet, baby. <laughs> All right, we back again. We are back again, and we are at episode eight. Episode eight, hey. boys and girls. We are episode eight. It's going down. A lot to talk about. A lot to discuss. A lot of things going on. As usual. And uh, as as usual, um, and some good, some bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, we're gonna have a kind. Of, we're gonna pretty much have a fun topic today. Pretty much a little bit when we get into our topic. Topic. We're gonna have pretty much a fun topic. You Maybe. know, and get into that. Uh, but make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing right now, which is making sure you follow us out here on social media. Yes. The Static Flow Podcast on Facebook, The Static Flow Podcast on Instagram. And if you're out there, please hit the subscribe button on that YouTube or subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, Static Flow Podcast. We out there. Um, you can check out the other seven episodes right now mm-hmm. on the uh, YouTube if you want to check out the rest of the podcast episodes, they are out there already and waiting for you. So make sure you uh, do just that. Get at us, okay? Right. Uh, you already know who I am, your host, Derek, a.k.a. You already know. It's on the screen. And my lovely, beautiful, in Barney shirt. <laughs> is, it per- is it purple? What color is it? I'm, I, it's lavender. Mind my your bad. Business color. It's a lavender, a lovely lavender <laughs> that we have so her in. Tika. <laughs> Thank you. AKA Tika. Tika. But I do like the sweatshirt though. It look real new too. Like you just got it out the box. No, I just don't wear it. That's all. You don't wear it. No. So why'd you buy it if you don't wear it? I just don't wear it a lot. You want me to wear it every week? <laughs> okay. Once a week? I mean, I ain't know. Like you put the lint brush on. You got it real fresh in here today, though. It look fresh out the pack right now. You going to keep going? I'm just saying. It look fresh going? out the pack. You okay. like you real fresh. You look like first day of school right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the first day of school. You know everybody come to school first day and they clothes be new. Everybody clothes smell new. You remember Most that? exciting day of the year, first day. Nah, I mean? Be fresh as hell, yo. You be fresh as hell first day. Flexing on well, By the time you in the month number two, they done seen that outfit. They done seen that outfit about eight, nine, ten times. You know what I mean? For real. That's for my, my people out there that know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all are like, I don't understand. Yeah. Some of our people get it, man. But uh, we do got some great topics, some All things right. we're going to talk about. Well, we can start. We'll get it off your chest. That's what we do. We like to get it off <sighs> and breathe out and push out and talk about it. All right. It's almost so, like Lamar's class. No, it's not. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get it off your chest, right? So... Mm-hmm. Let me know what you think of the presidential debate that went down. So we going in with the debate first? Let's this just, first thing? Let's we going just do in it with first. That? We get that out the way. We're going to something else. What's All your right. thoughts? So get it off your chest. All right, man. Um, I, I definitely like what Ply said on his uh, oh Instagram page that they was trying to make it a, a shit show. No, it was. <laughs> they weren't trying. They succeeded. <laughs> and they, that's what he said. Mm-hmm. You know, He said that was their goal, and they definitely did that. Who is that. they, though? Who was who? The well, who, yeah, DJ Khaled know who they is, <laughs> but um, they they wanted to make it a shit show. It was like watching the debate last night was kind of, I don't even know, man. It was like an outer body experience because for the first time, I felt like I don't I don't know if I even should say this. Like wow, like should I? Did, did, where's the other section at? <laughs> <laughs> Can I check other on this one? Like you know, because I mean, you got to vote for somebody. But, like, I just feel like, like, check other, you know? Like, I don't even know. Like, what's the other party? I forgot right now. I can't think independent. of Independent? Yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking about going independent. Like, the, rap, no, like the rappers and... Uh, no, you're not. I think, like, like the rappers and R&B singers. I'm going to go independent. Listen. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. It was almost it. like we were watching, like, a reality show. It was, yeah. like, real... And let me just... A couple things. One, right. the moderator. Yes. He would okay. He did the best that he could yeah, given the situation that he had. Say, he was fighting. <laughs> he was fighting. Donald Trump is out of his mind. Know what know is me? wrong with him? Like, he He's play. like a petulant child. Yeah, no question. What is wrong with him? He's rude. He agreed to the terms beforehand and just to hush, totally to threw that the out up the window. And let everybody die. Yeah, he is rude, and he. I think he really, really went overboard when he talked about Joe Biden's son. That's yeah, totally like, unacceptable. Like yo, that's that's like some backyard street fight stuff. Like when you start talking about people's families and stuff like that, like that's something you do like in the in the yeah. playground or something like that. Like you yeah. don't. You 
you don't do that in the middle of a debate. You he didn't know? answer any questions. Not at all. And he sure as hell did not um, rebuke, if you will, the white supremacy. Yeah. He gave he you, told he, them to. What did he say? Stand down. No, we're gonna, and we're gonna stand play. By. It. We're gonna we're gonna play it. We're, we're gonna play it. Okay. We're gonna play it, but right. but but he gave you the long unanswer. Like he's the great unanswerer of all times. Yeah, he like, never he answers you a any long questions. unanswer that. You, well, first of all, and it make it sound like he answered the question. No, it like, doesn't. No, you're it like, doesn't. What did he even mention it or what? Because he. Listen, if you guys ever want a laugh, go check out any transcript because anything that they say on TV or anything that you see on TV is always like translated into words. If you want a good laugh, please go look at any speech that he has ever made because it is incoherent and it's garbage and it it is it's like a kindergartner or something. He need to fire his publicist or whatever his people are because you would think they would do a better job at helping him. He goes off the script. Do you not understand that? They can do all the planning they want. He's just going to go and do whatever he wants to do. But it's, it's, yeah. it's Trump time. And I feel bad a little tiny bit for Biden because yes. because of Trump's actions, it threw him off his game. Because he really does have a plan. Whether you agree with the plan or not, right. he does he have d- a he plan. He does have a plan. And he just wasn't able to articulate he does that have because a plan. he couldn't say anything. He spent most of his time telling him to shut up, listen. It was just like you said. He needed his 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 right-hand lady up there with him. Kamala? Yeah, he needed Kamala. I think Kamala would have been a little bit more focused and a little like, bit they more. They should have been able to have those, those two people that's in there yeah. and Biden's not a great public speaker not either, at all you so. can tell that's not his strong suit yeah that's definitely not his strong suit yeah, no. he, he a little bit you know timid a little bit to me sometimes you know what I'm saying like I don't know if he's timid I like, just don't feel like know, he knows like how Barack, to put his words together you know Barack wouldn't have wouldn't have went for that it wouldn't have definitely went down like that yeah. you know what I'm saying and I, don't, I definitely know I definitely know Barack wouldn't have took him saying something I mean about his family I don't it was so it's bad. time to cut the cameras off <laughs> I'd have been. Uh, it was bad. Cut, cut the cameras off. <laughs> cut the cameras off. I got a plan. First cut of all, that's off. my first time hearing you do the Barack voice. Where's, where's that yeah, come from? The Barack voice. Cut the cameras off. Stop it. Cut the cameras off, <laughs> and we're going to talk about this outside. Stop. <laughs> Barack about to open up a can of the. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, th- this is what we this is what we're talking about okay, right go. here, though. When we're talking all about right. him not uh, owning up to, d- does he support white supremacy? And this was the that denounce it. Now, this is the the comment he made in the middle of debate. Check it out. You have repeatedly criticized the the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left wing extremist groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing. Not from the right so wing. So what are you? What are you? you look, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right Proud Proud boys. Boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing own, problem. This, this is a left-wing. This is a left-wing. Now, Unacceptable. Like, did he, what did he say? He said, stand down and, and stand, stand back. By. Stand no, by. stand by. Stand by. And so everyone knows what stand by means. Yeah. Like, wait for further um, yeah. instructions. Wait, wait. Till. And that group that he referenced, the good old, I, I don't even know the name because I didn't even care to commit right. that to memory. Right. There is a group of them, and they have, as soon as he said that, they have been tweeting and um, changing their logo and tweeting it out and re. Yeah. They took that as a, okay. We got that, that's what we'll you do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and how do we have somebody that supports white supremacy in the White House? Yeah. yeah. How do we put somebody like that back in the White? We we just, you know, we we can't have that. Yeah. We we really can't have that. Like so, I guess this is the at the point where we've talked about it too. We're gonna urge everybody to actually go out here and vote. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't get feel out. Like we need to keep saying that. Y'all. Yeah, like, we, we we drilling it. Duh. We drilling it. But y'all, come on, man. Like you can't. We can't run into you and have these conversations, and then all of a sudden be like, "Well, yo, did you vote? Nah, I didn't even vote." But you out here talking about you know the the problems and what's going on with the president and Trump's crazy. But I mean, because mm-hmm. just not not voting is like you condoning the actions and what he's doing because you're not doing anything to to stop it. So make sure you get out there and vote. Um, yeah. Get out there, get registered, and then don't, and don't do the mail in vote, man. Well, Go to the poll if you can. Some people want to do mail in; they don't nah, want to be man. outside them amid votes. COVID, or they just can't. They, they don't. In. They them don't. They can't do it on that one. 
They go in the trash. They can't do it on November third. So I'm just saying those votes go in the business trash. Can, I will say this: if, you, if you are doing the the mail ins, make sure I, I read somewhere that you use like a black or blue ink pen. You write legibly, like yeah, you follow all of Anything the instructions, they so they won't. You Anything know, they're gonna find. They're gonna get. You. Oh shit! He wrote in pencil. Yeah, we can't. We can't do it. Yeah. That. So just make sure. <laughs> so you please follow no, the instructions. No number two pencils. To write. Get your ink pens out. <laughs> Get your big, get your bigs out. Are we finished? Are we done with that? That was the one. Get your bigs out. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I like that. No. Get your bigs out. Pause that just in case. But yeah, for real, for real. But that's enough on Trump. We didn't give him enough spotlight yeah, for the night. We didn't give him too much. What else we getting off our chest? All right. So, um, Lisa Ray and the brat. So, brat, tat, tat, tat. tell me what you want to get off your chest and let with your that. Neck snap back. First off, shouts out to the brat. First female Wait, to go we, platinum. Stop. Shouting out people that don't know you. Yeah, I mean, okay. the brat, the B R A. Hey, don't, I throw a picture up here with me and the brat. Don't play with me. Listen, right? they don't know you. you don't, Just don't play with stop me. All I the seen me and Ray J the other week. All right, don't sleep on train. But uh, Derek, shout out to the brat. Shout out to Jermaine Dupri. So, so there. But um, on the real though, um, I was shocked when I saw the what is the name of the the, the show that it was on the, Fox Soul. The, yeah, but the girl, the Queens. I just told you the name that, of it. That's the name of it? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember all the cast? I know Vivica Fox is I know on it's there. Vivica Fox. Yeah. It's Claudia Jordan. Yeah. Selena. Okay. I think it's them three. I, and, 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 and Lisa Ray, of course. Now, this is the thing. Do I, I want, do they, did they really think they was doing a good surprise? Yes. So the, They thought it was a good surprise. Yeah. If you didn't catch it from the very beginning, they had no idea that they had their relationship was um, right. on the rocks. But how bit. did you call yourself friends with Lisa Ray and don't know she, no, she not cool with her sister? People don't tell you every all their business because even how the brat presented it right she said they weren't beefing or nothing so it's not right. really a story to tell it's just right you know what i mean so they didn't know so they just thought it would be a good surprise and if the brat agreed to it they're like oh okay this is gonna be good yeah but you know she didn't want to catch all that hoopla on the one-on-one so she was like you know what maybe this way she might not give you all that sass and attitude so well fail because you know. all the sass and attitude came yeah because i mean you know they they tried they tried to get in there and, and make it make it happen especially vivica vivica was really yeah, trying yeah she tried she, she, she tried she, to make she, that thing hey well, well this is why we're here that vivica shut <laughs> shut your ass up <laughs> lisa right shut your ass up this is I family think, beef look, we're beefing think- in here I just think they need to have a conversation. Like yeah, it's not that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but from what they say, it could that could be definitely yeah. Because we don't know out. how deep that rabbit hole go. We don't yeah. know the in between stuff. They gave us the on the surface stuff yeah. that because we don't know what was the real cause for them not talking. Yeah, she only gave us the we haven't talked in a while, and mm-hmm. I had to find out about your situations on social media. Mm-hmm. So what caused what happened up to the point? for them not to say anything we don't know that part we just yeah. know that after they stopped speaking that she was finding everything out on social media or hearing <laughs> it you know and then um excuse me and then hearing it on social media and seeing it on social media and you know well, they the did say they were text out. from every now and again so it really wasn't a beef it was just she's been lisa ray's busy the brat is busy yeah. and they kind of just i guess it was a thing of not sharing or just Sharing what's going know, on though. in each Lisa other's Ray lives. Lisa Ray sound like she was hurt. Let's let's play the clip. Lisa Ray sound like she was hurt and she was pissed the hell off. Okay, so this is the part where Lisa Ray kind of gets to, to the height of her emotions inside of this surprise Zoom birthday call. So here we go. Check this out. I will say thank you, Queens, for allowing and making it happen because I'm not sure how long it would have been. What it's been like, what almost like a since what? Hey, December, hey, something like stop, a baby, no more. Let her rain. Here stop. now, and life I don't is give a fuck what y'all saying. I don't give a fuck what y'all saying at all. Y'all don't know shit at all. She do, you do, you do. Awkward. Okay, where this fucking surprise happened? <laughs> Who knew that this shit. surprise was going to go all the way fucking left? I'm appreciative. I thank you and oh, all you of that. There's this. Clearly, you're hurt, Brad. We appreciate you coming oh, on. Oh yeah, I'm hurt. Right, oh, I'm not trying to fake it or none of that. I'm not trying to do any of that. Oh yeah, I'm hurt. No one's trying I'm to make hurt, anything. But you know what? I'm strong. I'm okay. strong. It's all good. Whenever it comes back around, it comes back around. Okay. Wait, before you even get into any of this, right? When I hear that, she sound like she on a players club. Like she really yeah, she talked did. like yeah, she Yeah, like like when she was on players club, that was really her. You know, that was That's really ter- that was I Lisa hate Ray. The way she uh talks. It's I mean, so hey, irritating. well, first off, shouts out to Lisa Ray Stop and that shouting players club. Out. That players club boy, good gracious, one of the one of the best 
one of classic films out here for the stripping. Thank you. Strip classic. Thank you. <laughs> but yo, but Lisa Ray sounded like she was pissed. Like she was hurt and was pissed. Mm-hmm. And she wasn't trying to feel it. Like Vivica Fox was trying to smooth that she thing out. She was trying to sell it. But. Yo, y'all don't know shit. She just came out with it. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Y'all don't know shit. Okay? Y'all ain't here trying to smooth the situation and make this look good for some ratings. But I'm not doing that today. But she was hurt, though. But I, I really do, you know, I, I don't know what the problem is. But hopefully they can yeah. have a conversation. They're like, sisters like, at the end of the day. Like, I feel like they, 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 they'll figure it out. Like, I don't, But what happened, though? Did she sleep with her man? Like, what was right. it? Did, um, did that really happen? Because, you know, it happened in Players Club. Her sister you, you, slept with her man. That wasn't her sister. It was, it was her cousin. But You know um, what I'm talking about. You she ready slept for the next topic? She slept with him. She smashed. And Lisa tried to bust a cap. Bust cap and ass. All right. Speaking of busting caps, this is a great segue. So, <laughs> what else we get? What else we getting off our chest? All right. Last uh, subject is uh, Tory Lanez, his new song um, and his video. She used to work at Queen so he um, hyped it up last week, like he was right. about to speak to the um, whole Megan situation in the right. shooting. Um, and he said he was going to go live at twelve a.m. I forgot the title already. And it was, it's not important. Yes, it is. And. Um, <laughs> When in reality, he just dropped a, a, his album, and everybody yeah. kind of went in um, on that. But. For him dropping the album. Now, to his defense, though, he did say this in the media. He said the reason why he dropped the album it's on that day birthday, is because it was, no, it was, it was the he death. He did say that. I think it was the death of his I think mother. he said it was his mom's birthday. I thought he said it was her passing. Either way, it had When she to do passed with away. It was mom. something with his mom, but um, and that's why he dropped it. So, you know, I, I don't know. You don't want to try to question when it comes to people's moms, especially if it's a passing situation or you celebrating your mom. You know that could have been. I think the it case. was the lead up to it. Don't, don't, don't. You haven't said nothing, about and then it. you right. all of a sudden, yeah, I got something to say. I'm about to speak my mind. Yeah. And drop an album. Drop like, an album. What? Now, I mean, now I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play devil's advocate a little bit because nobody, nobody really gets at the rappers. The rappers do that all the time. Always talk what about stuff in an album, like stuff that happened or something going on. I mean, well, shoot, August Alcina just did it with Entanglements. He just did it. We he dropped a song. are talking about a man shooting a woman. She is saying that he's he did so it. So allegedly, allegedly, we don't want to get sued. He is allegedly. saying, "Well, they ain't gonna get nothing." But he's and then it he's might saying, give me microphones and need computers. <laughs> but go ahead, though. <laughs> go ahead, though. <laughs> we be here with no mics. But go ahead. <laughs> but it's different. You can't compare that to August mm-hmm. I seen it because both he and Jada Why? were on the same accord with that. They both so admitted. She, they both admitted. So you can't. So go, hold on. So she called him and said, "Yo, put that entanglement out. That's no, gonna be hot." No, but what I'm put saying, that no, but Tori, what I'm saying is, we, we everybody knew the story. Everybody was on the same accord with the story. Right. This is a differing story. And then why are you gonna put something? First of all, and let me tell you another thing too. Right. That whole Jada and um, August thing was a consensual thing. This is a violence against a woman. This is two totally different things. But but both no but. but both roll back around to songs being released by people telling their story. That's where it comes together at where no. they're similar. We had two people something. dropping a song to tell their side of the story. Listen, all I know is Tory Lanez is whack. <laughs> and that's hey, what yo, I need to get the off. The song my was hot though. I, know I can't you, I, know you I, like I can't it. front on the record. I what holy something. Well, I don't, I don't know what it was it. called or something, but like I don't remember it. But the song was hot. I can't front. Like people were saying that, that the Daystar album is hot. Even though this he out of pocket, but he he put some he put some good music out on this. I haven't checked it out yet, but the song we just checked out before the podcast, that joint was kind of against hot, my though. will. I wasn't interested. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, we got to cover the news. We can't we can't we can't half it the news. We got to cover it all. So we needed to see that video. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? I mean, it was it was a, it was a it was a it was a hot record. I can't front, but um, hopefully we'll get the true story from that, and it, it, the truth will come out. You know what I'm saying? Because right now it's still almost he said she said because. Yeah. We don't really know the facts. Yeah. You know, Tory saying he did, Megan said he did. Where's the eyewitness that saw it happen? Well, That's his like, bodyguard yo, was there and I her was there. Um, best friend was there. And her and her best friend don't speak no more, so I don't know what that's So what, about. you know what I'm saying? So what, is it because the best friend, she like, yo, you got to say that Tory did it, even though he didn't. And she like, yo, I'm not doing that. Or what really happened? Because know. the whole circle is busted up now. Yeah. So where is this getting ready to go? No idea. You know what I mean? For real, for real. But shout out to Toby Lanes, though. You know, I'm gonna check that day start out, see what's up. Shout out to Meg too, man. I'm glad your feet are better and, and you out here doing your thing, looking good. Megan the Stallion, the Stallion. Are you? Let's keep it pushing. Are you done? Yeah. Thank you. All right. I'm, are you finished? Or are you done? <laughs> shout out to the Brex Club. <laughs> Don't shout nobody else out, okay? Please. <laughs> shout out to the Breakfast Club, Charlotte. What up? You see I mean, this right here? Put us on can your. Can you stop? 
stop. You don't know these people. Hey, put us on your podcast uh, joint. And you shout you people out that you know. That's right. You don't know any and of those I people. Have, yes, I do know Charlamagne. You don't know Charlamagne. might not remember that I know him, but I know him. You don't know, know Megan Thee Stallion. You don't you know, know Tori Lane. Stop shouting people out for real, anyway. For real. You know what I mean? Topic of the day. Straight like that. She's a hater. But anyway, I'm a realist. Girl, she's a hater. Real, real hater. Whatever. I'm a realist. He realist. Is the realest hater I ever mind. had. She the realest hater I ever had. Go Whatever. ahead. Whatever. The topic <laughs> is, um, can you be in love with more than one person? Oh, topic time. Can you be in love with more than one person? That's what we wanted to get into today. What made us want to get into this? I, I don't. What made us want to even get into this topic? I have literally no clue. I think we was watching a movie or something. It was something on a movie and something. And we was like, you know, making comments about it. And we Maybe got it. I in. don't remember. Yeah. But we was, I remember we was on the couch. We was mm-hmm. watching TV and it just popped up. We was like, yo, we need to talk about that. Being yep. in love with more than one person. Can you do? Is that possible? No. Okay. Since you open up the Opening door for that. Opening and closing. Why do you say you can't be in love with more than one person? So I feel like you can love multiple people. You can love them. Mm-hmm. But for you to say um, that you are in love with somebody, that's right. all, that's a different level. That's a different level of emotion. That's a different level of, I'm going to smack you. What? No, don't I'm just do saying, it. don't do what? I'm just letting you get your joint out. I, just, I, think I got it's something just, to say. I, I think it's just on a different level. And if you are committed to your that person that you say that you're in love with, there is no room for another person for you to be in love with because your heart and your mind won't even allow that door to be open to love, uh, be in love <laughs> with another person. And I'm going to put my hands on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Hey, y'all heard her? I'm going to put my hands on you. You see how it is? She tried to make it a style of me in here. But, um, <laughs> but, um, um, let me, let me, let's, 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 I bust. want you to answer the question first, yes or no, then go into your whole yes, spiel. Yes, I, I believe that it, it can happen. We're to, about to get some, a divorce too, just so you know. It's about I to believe happen. it can happen at some capacity. Let's unpack this, let's bust this down a little bit, okay? Um, we're talking about love here. I um, love love is like space. No, I'm for real. Let's let's really unpack this. Love is like outer space. It has no limit. Like love, love can go as as deep as a person wants it to go. I'm you know glad what I'm you saying? Said that. I'm gonna write that for, down. For so for di- for different back. for different things. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stick on love before I go to in love. Right, before I go to in love. To go. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go on love for a second. Mm-hmm. People had a capacity to love two people. At the same rate. There's okay. people out there right now that love their mother and their father. I agree. At the same level capacity of love. I agree. All right, which is matched evenly. You know, I love my dad. I love my mom. Different kinds of love, but it's still love in general. I agree. All right. Now, it's, it's, it's pieces to this because I right, let's let's say what it is. Yeah. Now, if you're with a person, yeah, you committed to that one person. It's just that one person in your life. And that's that only one factor. Then, of course, because you haven't been introduced to any other than anything else for you to be in love. Now, the question is, is it possible, capable for someone to no. be in love? Let me finish. Let me get my whole thought out now. Hurry up. Is it capable for someone to be in love with more than one person? No. The reason why I say yes is this. And y'all let me get my whole, let me get it out now. Now, if you are out here and you're in love, you're in love with your, your man, your spouse, or you're in love with your woman, and you do allow yourself to go out and and you, you know, I'm not going to say you're going out and you're opening yourself up while you're out. You're just kind of out just having a good time just or just just chilling in a certain spot. And you also end up meeting or, or seeing this same person. Matter of fact, let's use the workplace. The workplace is a better one. You're in a workplace with this certain person every day where you having everyday casual conversations and most of the time when you at work you know some people open up about their life a little bit to a certain degree of what they got going on and what they're doing and then you keep going and the next thing you know that that space opens up even more without you even knowing it and then you find something in that person that you genuinely like the like turns into now you're talking more giving more yourself up to that person now mind you you still have that person at home that you in love with that you love that you go home to every day but at the same time you're going to work and you're unpacking some things with this person that you like okay now the like all of a sudden turns into oops now we've had sex now this is where you have leveled a playing field from with the person that you're in love with at home to where now all of a sudden you have sex with that person. So now you're physically involved and mentally involved with that person. Now it's two different people. Yes, it is. But 
the same capacity of like love, love for mom, love for dad. It's at the same level, two different kinds, but it's the same height and same love. What happens to you is you start to fall in love with two different men or two different women. You're in love with them, but you might be in love with this woman for certain reasons and in love with this woman for certain reasons. But either way, you're still in love. You said all of that. And ain't say shit. Yes, I did. No, you yes, didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, so let me, I did. I, I just let you literally talk for like five I'm minutes. I'm trying so to you're tell going you. To let me That's talk, right. And you're going to let me because it's, rebuttal. It, it, I said something. Go ahead. You didn't. Um, yeah, I said something. You literally just said that um, mm -hmm. a person, as far as a person wants it to go, when you are allowing yourself and you're opening yourself up to receive the love or the attention of someone else. You're not in love because when you're in love with somebody else, that part of you is blocked off. It's not, you're not even entertaining stuff like that. It, it, it's, it can't, it can't happen because you're, you're, you're not open. Don't Babe, you say nothing. It's, you're 70s. not open. Maybe in the seventies. Also it's 2020. It's because if you're allowing that your situation, the example that you gave about, um, at work, people mm -hmm. at work, and mm -hmm. you know, you mm -hmm. build these relationships with people mm -hmm. at work. That happens. I'm not doubt, I'm not saying that it doesn't, mm -hmm. but it's because there's something that is at home that you're missing. There is something, there's a piece of something where you're allowing yourself to open up and be vulnerable enough because a, a piece of love is vulnerability. And you can't, there, you, you, you won't open yourself up to somebody if you're, if you're in love with someone else. I just don't believe that. But furthermore... You talking a lot about this, like that, Not, that, 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 that's, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> mad suspect. Because you're, what you listen, what you're, off, what you're essentially saying right, right now, right, is that you. Let me ask you. We're this. talking about people in general. I, no, but we're, I, we're, I need to. I need to. I want. Is no, no, no. Not about Derek. I want to bring we're, this we're home because about, your we're, we're talking about. We're talking about what I'm human saying. beings. Listen to what I'm saying. The capacity of what they can I do. I understand that, but your opinions. You believe what you're saying, and so if that's something that you're believing, I need to ask you something, and we can move on. Do you consider yourself in love with me? Of course. Okay. So what you're saying to me is that no, you have a piece that. of you. Put a ring on it. You have a piece of you that is open to if you go to work and develop a relationship or if you're ever somewhere else, a piece of you is open for that and you are vulnerable to falling in love with someone else. Not at all. I, the reason where that comes from is because I've seen the capacity of that with other people. So therefore, I know it exists by seeing it happen with other people. I think where, people fall in lust. Where, where I think people can fall in love, that, but you, not you in can, love with someone else. You try to say else. that, but I've seen people be like, I don't know who to choose because I'm in love with both of them. You You've seen that before on movies. But I don't You've really seen it think before. that. But I don't You've think they're in people. love with two people. I think that they that's love what, certain people. But certain that's certain what that person feels at that moment. But that's no. how are you going to tell somebody else how they feel? Because she get feels so, like she's in love with Ronald. She feels like she's so in love with Ralph. She loves with, both of them. No, I, I, I just don't agree. Each just, man brings a different dynamic to what she loves and, and what I don't she's in love with. with that, but you can't be in love with two people because that just is just you not can possible. love two people but not be in love. Yes, that because What's when, the, okay. Well, let, I right, let's already ask you a question. explained to you let me what ask being you a in question. love and in love is with the so difference. So lo love is. is what? Love is just okay. You can just like you said, love mm -hmm. is a. Mm -hmm. You can love your spouse. Mm -hmm. You can love your kids. You can mm -hmm. love your parents. You it's just spouse. like this. You said spouse. It's like this innate thing that right. comes. It's a love is right. It's more of a, it's a feeling. Right. You okay. know what I mean? Now, in love is what? In love is when you have totally devoted yourself to one person so, and that person fulfill, fulfills you in a way in which everything else is closed off. Like you are fulfilled on all levels with everything. Mm hmm and you're not you're not even your mind so is not even but your mind is, is not even love. thinking about that yeah on, on all levels so so love is basic and and in love is fulfillment that yeah because you can say because people use love all the time oh my god I love him he's so cool you can love people for different reasons for their personality and you can love for a, their... a lot of people right yes so how does the body have the capacity to love hundreds of people but can't be in love with two people because it's that a doesn't difference. make sense it does make sense this shows the branching of the love tree the love tree is branchful can i make that up is that a word branchful is not a word <laughs> we just made it we, hey webster dictionary called me it branches out. Love branches out. So I don't know why being in love can't branch out. We've seen it before. It's women out here that's going to be watching this, that's looking at this podcast right now that's going to be like, yo, I was no, in love in, with two dudes no, at one not, time. No, you're not. You know what I'm not. saying? 
you know your mind is telling for you real, that for you're real for real and then all right well let's 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 switch it let's look at it different let's tap in differently on this one all right what if you are single and you're dating two guys and all of a sudden in dating two guys you fall in love with both guys during the process of dating um i don't think that's possible oh why because you you now mind you you're you she could she, let's just say she's not even had sex with both guys but just been dating two men and have found herself and she feels like, yo, I'm in love with both of them. I don't know which one to pick. I just don't Why think she it, can't? I just, Why I just she don't can't do that? I just don't think it's possible. I just don't think see it's possible. See what I'm saying? Because so you, see, people you're, come you're, with... You're the, not trying to love, open your eye up. But love is is different characteristics. Yeah, you have these two different yeah. people. And of yeah. course, you're going to like them for various reasons. Various. Different But joints. there's always... You always kind of lean into one like, oh, yeah, really, I'm feeling... you always going to feel somebody more than you not feel really, another not person. In that, not, in, not in every situation. Sometimes it's so. right up the line. Sometimes so. it's right up the line. Like, both men offer you pretty much what, what you want from him and he's not giving you, the other guy brings the other one, vice versa. So that causes you but to be like, but I need a, both. But it's you know always, what I'm saying? it's always a I tilt. You're both. always going to go Not really. That's why some countries got it where men can marry more than one female. Is that why? Because they know that you can be in love with more than one person. Yeah. That is the dumbest shit. Yeah. That's why they got them rules. What is it called when they do that? What's the name of that? When I'm you, not going to. You can have more than one I'm joint out there. Y'all yeah, know what it is. Google it if you don't know. You know what I mean? Google it. But um, I, 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 just, I just believe that. I've seen it before. Um, I want to put homegirls on blast but i've just in my past I, i've i've heard females say it before like yo i, I don't know who to pick like i i, I really really love i mean I'm, i feel like i'm in love with both of them no. you know what i'm saying they don't they, you're not really in love with because because when you're really in love with somebody right. you're what gonna know who to pick you're gonna be like oh yeah I'm but, bo- really but they in love, love both of them the same way you're not in love it's with like them mom then. and dad you know that's so, so okay. totally different is it so 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 it's people out here right now that somebody say i love my mom more than i love my dad Okay, so so you saying so it could be different levels. Yeah. So nobody can love at the same love their mom and dad at the same. Capacity. They can. I can't. I'm not a. I, I Are don't, you? I don't, can, I don't, give I don't me some yes that. and no. Do can somebody love their mother and father at the same level, same capacity? They may. I don't yes know. Yes or no. I don't know. Do I love? So my how do you? At the same so how level? do you know somebody can't be in love with at the same because capacity? How you what, know one but not the other? Because of what I know of being in love with somebody is a difference <laughs> than is, than different than love. You in love? Love? No. Up. Oh. <laughs> Let me ask her one more time before I turn the camera all to pieces. <laughs> are Are you in love? I am not. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> all right, we wait for the real answer. But go ahead. Oh, no, seriously. What are you asking me? Are you in love with me? No. Wow. You want to say that on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're waiting for you to clean this up now. Come on. Of course I am. All right. Well, don't play and like because... that anymore because I was going to turn this camera No, up. you wasn't. Yes, I was. And because I am, room, there is no space that I'm even going to allow or let anyone come into my whole space to, to fall in love with anybody. I mean, it sounds like you are and you would. It sounds like I've seen it. Before. It sounds like you're gonna it get slapped. Like, it sounds like I've witnessed it before, and I've seen it before, so I know it does exist. It might not exist within me, but I have seen it exist within other people. And who am I to tell them who they're in love with and who they're not? If I hear them say that, and that's what they feel, then that's what they're feeling. Let me tell feeling. you something. If any you of my friends come to me and say feel, I'm in love with two people, I'm like, no, you're not. Yeah, and see, that's and, dumb. That's a bad friend. Y'all stop. No, it's not. If you're friends with her, you stop being friends with her. Challenge your friends sometimes. You just don't have to go with the. If you're friends with her, stop being friends with her. She's a bad friend. You hear that? Like she's gonna totally just mess no, your. No, I'm not. Like I'm up. a realist. Like let's okay. talk about the real stuff. She's the realest bad friend you can ever have. So what's your please. What's your final word on this? You know what I'm saying? Listen, y'all. Let me, everybody, y'all listen. And to make me. it quick. Okay. If you out there right now and you feel like it that you are in love with two people right now, You're you crazy. make sure you DM us or inbox me the Static Flow Podcast on Facebook, the Static Flow Podcast mm-hmm. on 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 Instagram, and mm-hmm. you tell me why you feel like you're in love with those people. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know so I can let her see, so I can reply through and your you eyes that you are not. how you feel, and that you know that you could be in love. With more than one person, okay? Don't and you never let nobody tell you what you feel and how you feel. You know what you feel. You and you or you are about to say inside your body. You are out and inside your body. You know what you're feeling, okay? Don't well, let listen, nobody tell you different. My here. final word is that you can't be in love with two people. Stop fooling yourself. Really sit down and think about it, because nine times out of ten, it's probably lust or you just some surface level ass love. You're not really in love with that person. 
Um, what I tell you? I'm finished. Are, are we done? I'm just putting the love. I'm just spreading the love. Spread the love. That's your problem now. <laughs> spreading the love, yo. Somebody got to spread love around here. We need it. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You know what I mean? Got to spread some love out here for real, for real. That, that's it for your closing remark? That's it. I mean, I, D- yep. Nothing else? I said what Done. I need to say. You can't be in love with uh, more than one person. And Point like, blank and DM period. me, y'all. Please get at me and let me know. DM- and if you DM, make it good. Don't say, I just love them because, you know, we got please. kids together. No. 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 Please DM me and let me know what it is. You know what I'm saying? For real. Do that. Don't forget, make sure you're following us, though. The Static Flow Podcast on Instagram. The Static Flow Podcast on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, and definitely subscribe and YouTube us. Do it. Can I say YouTube us? Static Flow Podcast on YouTube. And that's it. We'll be back next week. More topics, more static, and more. More flow. There it is. We out.